All right. Shalom Akim. Call Halayim La. Yaha Bashim Yahawasha. Baha. Raka. Pradash. Double honor to my elders and my apostles, that great millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. And salutation to you, Akim out there in the four corners, laboring in his truth and pushing with all righteousness and sincerity. Okay. And shalom to you, confusion of face brothers as well. All right. Who don't look like your average, everyday, so called Negro, Latino, and Native American, but you're Israelites according to the Bible. And to you, I say shalom. This is Brother Kai Hai here. Um, just with a quick little video, man, with the uh, GMS Charlotte camp. I'm just, you know, doing another uh, quick little video going into how um, the law of Yahab Hashem Shah is going to be your delight. So meditate on the scriptures, man. All right. The law of the Lord is your delight, man. All right. Having faith in Yahab Hashem Shah. All right. You got to meditate on these scriptures. Okay. The scriptures tell you to do that. So that way you can um, receive everlasting life, man. You know, and that's imperative. If you in this truth, you know, you look to delight the Lord, man. So you got to delight yourself with the understanding, you know. So with that being said, this is the book of Psalms, chapter one, verse one. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yeah, it says, blessed is the man that walketh not uh, in the counsel of the ungodly, man. Okay, so don't don't partake. And anything with wickedness, man. All right, because the scriptures say what? To hate the evil and love the good. You know, matter of fact, that'd be a, um, a nice little precept to start off with. In the book of um, Amos, chapter 5, verse 15. It says, um, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment at the gate. It may be that the Lord, Yahweh Shemah power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Okay? And this is going... Out to the elect because the elect is the only ones who's really gonna truly understand this word, man. Okay, through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Uh, it says, hate the evil and love the good, man. You gotta hate the wickedness of this world. You gotta hate the evil of this world. All right, what's the evil of this world? You saw the so called white man, uh, two thirds of our people, are right, you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who indulge in wickedness, you know, being out there in um, um, all types of madness and folly, man, mirthing it up. Being faggots and, and lesbians, man, transsexuals, all right, rape, raping children, okay, into other doctrines and philosophies and so on and so forth, man, okay, just out there just being senseless, man, just being wicked, all right, the Lord told you to hate that, man, and now uh, roughly paraphrasing, um, uh, uh, scripture says, um, uh, them that fear the Lord will depart from evil, you know, Lord willing, that might come out just through the spirit, but, um, yeah, man, the point is to hate the evil and love the good. All right, you got to love the good, man. These scriptures is good. All right, that's why you got to walk in the counsel of of, 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 um, of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right, you, you, you got to walk in the spirit, man. Okay, so let's go back to the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Yeah, man, don't, don't sit in the seat with sinners, man. It says, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yeah, man, because you got guys who come up to the camp, okay, void of judgment, okay, they're reprobates, they're void of judgment, all right, they got a lack of understanding, and they come up and they scoff and they scorn because they don't understand what the hell is going on, and then when you try to reprove them and edify them, they grow even more demons on them, okay, the scriptures talk about, um, he that walketh out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man, you know, matter of fact, let's get that. You know, in the book of Proverbs, the 21st chapter, and the 16th verse. All right, Proverbs 21 and 16, it says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay? So anybody wandering out of the way of understanding, and that word understand goes back to the Hebrew word bayan, which means to know accurately. Okay? And these scriptures is understanding. Okay? Having an understanding of these scriptures is life. All right, so any man walking out of the way of these scriptures and just willingly transgressing the law of Yahweh Shimi Shah, okay, they're gonna remain in the congregation of the day, and that's what happened to Israel when um uh, when we went off, man. All right, that's why we we in the situation that we in now, man, because we sinned before Yahweh Shimi Shah, okay. But the elect is coming back. All right, the one hundred forty-four thousand and the one third is coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Right, and that started off with our elders and our apostles uh, of Great Millstone. 
okay? But two-thirds is going to remain in the congregation of the dead because they're the ones who, who didn't want to repent, all right? So they're going to stay in a sleep state. They're going to stay in that dead state, all right? They call themselves black, right? Okay? Black means dead. Black means death. All right? Two-thirds of our people are death, all right? At an all-time high. So the, um, back to the book of Psalms, chapter 1. I'm going to go to verse 2 now. It says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Yeah, man, so if you mean what you mean in these scriptures, man, okay, you can't you can't just talk the talk, man. You got to walk the walk, man. All right, you got to meditate upon these scriptures. All right, you, you got to pray. All right, seriously, uh, 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 think, think upon these scriptures, man. Think upon his precepts, all right? And that's going to be your delight in the law of the Lord. Because like I said, like the scriptures say, you know, the commandments are life. So we got to be able to meditate on these things. And we do that by uh, gaining understanding from our elders and our apostles. Because they're teaching in the name of Yahabashimi Hawashah, which is the real name. And these, uh, the scriptures that they break down is the, true, is the true breakdowns. Okay, so that way you can have the real understanding. And you're supposed to delight in this. Okay, delight in the law of Yahabashim Yahashah because the law is life. All right. The scriptures talk about how wisdom and knowledge, let's get that, is going to be uh, the stability of our times, man, and strength of our, uh, strength of salvation, you know? The Lord didn't just put these scriptures in here for no reason, man. That's why we got to be able to meditate on them, you know? Have a, a, a pure conscience when we pray to you, how about Shimei Hawasha? So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. It says, in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay, so let's go back to Psalms. It says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do if he meditate day and night. All right, these scriptures, these two scriptures basically saying the same thing. Okay? Wisdom and knowledge is going to be the, uh, the stability of our, of our times, man. All right, that word wisdom goes back to the Hebrew word chakam, which means skill in war. Okay, and we receive wisdom by um by obeying uh, uh the law of Yahabashim Yahashah, but most importantly having faith in Yahabashim Yahashai. Okay, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, man. All right, when you're stable, man, you are rooted. You got you you got um you in the truth, ten toes down. You know, you go into prophecies, you go into the history, you go into the Hebrew. You know, you pray, you fast. You meditate ultimately, which is really what this whole lesson is about, man. You gotta you gotta be able to meditate on these scriptures to keep you stable, to keep you grounded and rooted in his truth. Okay? It says, The fear of the Lord is his treasure. I'm still in Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, the fear of Yahweh Shem is, is gonna be your treasure, man. That's why um you're supposed to meditate on these scriptures and uh delight in the law of the Lord, man. Because these are, these scriptures are what's going to help us in the days that we're coming into. That's why, brothers, hey, this ain't the time to be feeble need, okay? And being disobedient to the elders or your camp heads or even to brothers, man. We ain't in them times, all right? You got to delight in the law of the Lord. The Lord tells you to be brotherly, man. The Lord tells you to obey him, which is the first commandment, okay? Give all you got to the Lord, man, Okay? So you got to meditate these scriptures day and night, uh, day and night, man. All right. You got to meditate upon the precepts, all right, the commandments. Okay. So with that being said, let me go to the book of Psalms. Chapter, um, chapter 119. Psalms chapter 119. No, this ain't it. It's lucky. Like, yeah, I can just bear with me. Um, chapter 119. Verse, verse, uh, slack y'all can just bear with me. But the point is, man, all right, we, we, we do, we have to continue to meditate in the precepts of Yahabah Shimi Shah. All right, we, we, uh, we, we have to keep these law, statutes, and commandments with us. Okay, the scriptures say precept must be upon precept, line upon line. All right, here a little, there a little, man. All right, so we got to keep these commandments with us, especially when we got those scoffers and scorners coming up, and they try to they try to um they try to throw off the spirit. 
All right, we got to be able to come with them quick cuts, man, those precepts. And these brothers are going to back each other up through the spirit of the Lord, man. All right. So with that being said, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 15. It says, I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. What are the, it's like, what are the ways of the Lord? All right, these scriptures, man. All right, love the Lord with all thy mind, body, and spirit, man, and all thy soul. Love your neighbor as uh, uh, you will love yourself. All right, be not covetous of your neighbor's um, um, wife or slave. Okay, and so on and so forth, man. Don't kill. All right, and so on and so forth, man. There's 613 laws, man. We can't keep all of them. Okay, but we do our best to keep them. All right, what, what, what's, uh, whatever is in the law of this wicked ass society. All right, we got to meditate upon these precepts. All right, King David, that's really all throughout Psalms, man. King David said he's going to um, remember the ways of the Lord, man. He's going to meditate upon these pre uh, precepts, all right? The word meditate goes back to the Hebrew word palal, which means to pray, okay? That's why when Yahushua was on the scene, he, he stressed prayer, man, and, uh, and, uh, and faith, okay? Because when you got faith, you can't be moved. Without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh And if you want to please the Lord, you got to walk in his ways, man. Medi meditate on the precepts in his ways, man. Okay. Um, Let me get another scripture. You know, just through the spirit, man. Hey, man, the spirit is hot in Israel right now. You know, from the apostles on down, man. All right. That's why. And, and brothers, hey, man, all these orders that's coming out, man. It's all through the spirit of Yahweh You can't take it personally. Okay, three videos a week or three videos a day, you know, whichever order is coming out now. Okay, you, you got you got to take that. We got to be able to push these videos, you know, meditate. All right, meditate on the scriptures. There's always something to talk about. It's always something to go into. Okay, and I mean that for myself too, man. We all got to step up. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 143, verse, um, verse 5. It says, I remember... The days of old, I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. Yeah, man, we meditate on the days of old, man. We 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 meditate, we pray, and we um uh, we think upon everything that happened, you know, in the ancient world or in our lives in general, you know, and we remember the works of the Lord, man. How you how about Al brought the Israelites through the Red Sea, okay, by the uh, by the hand of Moses. You know, through the spirit of Pavi, how about Shimi Hawasha? Okay. How we we um we got bought really out of all of our captivities, even though we just went right back into them because you know Jake is rebellious. Okay. But we we remember all of these things, man. How the Lord how about Shimi Hawasha blessed Noah, okay, and his and his seed, and had it and put the spirit on them to build that um that ark to um to 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 be delivered from the flood, man. Okay. You gotta meditate on these things. Okay? Because we when you when you have faith in how about Shimon Shot, man? Alright? Hey, uh, uh you hey you the angels is bringing uh back to the Lord a good report. Okay? So we gotta meditate on the Lord's works, man. Even in these uh these uh these lives, these so-called lives that we live in now, okay, that this this time that we're existing in now, I should say. Alright, we gotta meditate. On all the trials and tribulations that Yahweh Shemal Shah has brought us through, okay, and you 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 have to you have to uh, continue to pray on it that you get better through the Spirit and pray for the strength to deal with it, okay. It says, "I muse on the work of Thy hands." Yeah, man, because hey, this everything uh, Yahweh Shemal Shah created everything, man. All right, and we we are grateful to the Lord, man. All right, we marvel at His works, His His marvelous works and wonders. You know. Matter of fact, let me uh, get this in the book of Joshua, proving that we are supposed to um, keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shemashah to our best ability. All right, we cannot keep them perfect on this side. All right, to you, to you simple guys out there, okay? But this is just further proving why we need to meditate on the scriptures because the scriptures are life, man. The love of the Lord is life, okay? This is the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse eight. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, 
for then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, then thou shalt have good success. And that's the point. That is the whole point of us being in this truth. All right, so that way we can make our ways prosperous. All right, and we're doing that spiritually now, okay? Through Yahweh Hashem Hashem's grace and mercy that he had upon the nation of Israel by sending Yahweh Hashem down to die for us, man, because Yahweh Hashem came back in the flesh and fulfilled the law. Yahweh Hashem came back and fulfilled the law, man. The scriptures talk about that. Okay? Yahweh Hashem came back and he conquered the flesh. That's why we got to um, continue in our fasting and prayer so that way we can conquer this flesh. All right, we're not perfect. We're not going to be perfect like Yahweh Hashem. But damn it, we're going to try. All right, there ain't no point in giving up when shit gets hard, man. All right, it says, this book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth. Yeah, man. Because speaking carnally, man, that's that's against the scriptures, man. Okay? Scriptures, that's why you got to meditate on the, um, on the scriptures, man. Because really, when you talk to brothers, none but scriptures are supposed to be coming out of your mouth, man. You know, brothers going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, like little worldly shit. But everything leads back to the spirit, you know, which goes on top of building your brother up, man, with, with the with the um uh, love and good works. OK, everything you uh, do is supposed to fall back into the scriptures, man, because we we, we doing our best to be righteous. Yeah, we under grace, but that don't mean go ahead and go off. All right. These are uh, the law of Yahweh Hashem is not supposed to go out of our mouth. OK, we're not supposed to be ignorant of anything, you know. That's why we, we follow our elders, okay, who follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right, and it says, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. All right, it says the same thing in um, Psalms, the first chapter, the second verse, man. You got to meditate on these scriptures day and night. So that way you can have that stability. All right, it's all about meditation, man, and prayer, and fasting, and having faith. Okay, you got to meditate on the book of the law. All right. You're supposed to be occupied in meditation, whether it's the law, whether it's prophecy. OK. And just a manner of words, you know what I'm saying? You got to pray, man. Pray to the Lord. Pray to you. How about me? How was shot, man? You know, you got to ask the Lord for things, man. All right. Yeah. How about you? said, whatever you shall ask in my name, um, um, uh, I shall give it to you in the name of the father, man. Roughly paraphrasing. OK. But I'm going to get this last scripture and then I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to wrap it up, you know, just basically stressing um, the importance of meditation, man. You know, because a lot of, a lot of good things come from meditating on these scriptures of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you know, we got to know how to walk in the spirit, man. We got to know how to walk in the light because we are, we are the children of light. Okay. So with that being said, this is the book of Sirach. Chapter 39, I'm going to start on verse 1. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Yeah, like King David said, man. All right, all of, uh, um, uh, meditate upon the precepts of all his ways. Okay? You got you to gotta go back. Into the um into the ancient times, man, and see how the uh how our forefathers were blessed by depending on Yahweh Shem Yahushua, man, by having faith and believing in Yahweh Shem Yahushua. All right, they kept the faith, they meditated on the precepts, man. Okay, they meditated on the law, the oral law, the written law, you know, and they did exactly what Yahweh Shem Yahushua commanded of them, you know. They had faith in the Lord, man. They was occupied in the meditation. OK, it says uh, we'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Yeah. And that's what we're doing uh, right now, man. We're being occupied in prophecies, man. We're keeping up with all the current events. All right. World War Three is about to pop up, man. Martial law is about to jump. OK, this RFID chip is really right around the corner, man. The economic collapse. OK, so we're supposed to have our minds uh, uh, on the scriptures. All right, we, we got to be occupied in the meditation thereof, man. Okay. In verse 2, it says, He will keep the sayings of renowned men, and where subtle parables are, he will he will be there also. All right, we, we're supposed to be meditating on the parables, man, the dark sayings of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh who we obtain uh, through our elders and our apostles. Okay. It says, of renowned men. 
Okay. Verse three, it says he will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. Verse four, he shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travail the strange country. Matter of fact, you know, so like you, uh, um, verse one was really the point. But the rest of it, 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 you know, it's a beautiful chapter, you know, I advise Akim to read it, but it's basically talking about how good things will come to you when you are occupied in the meditation of the law of the most high, man, of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah. Are right, you supposed to be occupied in his word, man? And a lot of things, a lot of good things, comely things will come with that. Look at King Solomon, how he prayed for wisdom to judge so great a people, man. Yahweh Hashim Yahweh was pleased by that. And he, he gave him, not only did he give him the wisdom uh, the wisdom to discern between uh, good and evil to judge the people, all right? But he gave him he gave him the worldly riches, man. All right? He gave him uh, many women and so on and so forth, all right? Because he didn't pray carnally. He prayed with an absolute clear mind, all right, to seek the Lord out and to judge the people. That's why he was such a great king, okay? So with that being said, Lord willing, Brothers was edified through the spirit, man. Call Halayim La, Yahabashimi Hawasha. Hey, Shalom.